So <clears throat> I fixed the two leaks either side on the previous video, but this well here in the boot seems to fill up all the time. Uh, it's a separate leak altogether. This is the 3GT, and I found it, it, there's a drainage hole just above here for the spoiler, and that lets water straight down into this here. If you pour some water in there, into the gap, I see it coming down here on the right hand side quite quick as well so that is where that leak comes from it's still coming so that is where that comes from so that's part one and we'll try and fix it so I've managed to remove the back panel here in the GT that was an absolute nightmare I've only managed to get half of it out but you can see by the locking mechanism there was just holes everywhere which all lead down into the boot and it just I don't know where to fill there's just too many holes and you can see when if you were to pour any kind of water down into this mechanism just a little bit you can see where it's going straight down there down into there straight into this centre piece into the big well in there <clears throat> it's just where do you start there's just too many holes to to fill serious design flow so everything's been put back together what I've done is I've put a strip all the way along right the way all the way past that drainage hole for the spoiler and I've put an extra piece on there that gives it an extra bit of cushioning and then down here I haven't silicon down here because I had to break the seal to take it off but what I've done is I've put the same stuff underneath so like an extra piece under there to lift the the actual this piece of the rubber from there to there just lifted it up and the boot seems to shut more sat like with a satisfying softer thud so hopefully that will stop the water going down into there and going into the draining down at there and then down there and into the well so fingers crossed that solved it so we shall see in the next bit of rain so yesterday it absolutely poured down with rain and I've checked the boot after me fix and it's bone dry thank god for that no water down there and what I have noticed is when I lifted up the boot from here there's a little bit of water, like water residue it's drying off now because the sun's here but there was a tiny bit of water residue on the outside piece here and then up here the actual piece of rubber that I put on there's a little, still a little bit of moisture on there you can see on this outside bit so the water was definitely coming you see tiny little residue is starting to dry now on this outside piece where the water was so I think what I might do is buy another strip of it, peel this back because I put a little piece behind there, just one section, that little bit, is actually buy another strip. You see where it ends there, the bit that I've just put a little strip in and carry on, put that all the way under here. That's where I've put silicon, that's the remainder of the silicon. But that'll then lift this piece of rubber up higher the whole way. Because it seemed to have a little bit of moisture on the inside. So I'd be feel a bit more confident with another strip all the way. Just to lift that further. Because the key is to get stop water going down into that hole. So for now that's fixed it. So it looked like it was just a whole boot <coughs> rubber. Which is responsible for that filling up through that hole. Obviously, the amplifier it still hasn't been replaced yet. This is the old one, it's bone dry from yesterday. Yep, it's still bone dry. And that is obviously the hole behind the light on a previous video that I did. So, fixed at last. <laughs> 